Hi, welcome back to Bees Aquatics, and it's been a while, but I'll give some updates today, and I also am going to be really upgrading um, my new African white, no, not African, Australian white tree frog, um, which you guys haven't seen the tank yet. I only got him like yesterday, um, so I'm just going to upgrade his tank now um, because it's kind of small, didn't really have a cover, and so I'm just going to upgrade him, and this one's also taller, so it'll be better for him. So I'll show you his tank now and do some updates real quickly. So first of all, the last video I left you on was this tank just getting planted, it was still dusty, so I decided to show you this here. Um, I, oh, and the two point, this is the Fox tank, but the old 2.5 gallon tank, I returned that. It just didn't really work out, um, so that's gone with the beta. The beta died and I don't know, it was just too hard, so I decided to start off with a bigger tank to be my planted tank. And then this plant has grown and never used to touch the wood. Um, that red plant in the back never used to go above the rocks, and this one would barely go above the rocks. So there's a lot of growth in here, everything looks really good, a lot really clear, and this looks super good right now. Um, and yeah, so I um, put this also lava rock in here, that was in the 2.5 gallon. Um, but that's like all the updates, so I'll show you the frog now. So here's the Australian white tree frog, white tree frog. he's sleeping right now, he is a nocturnal frog. It's got his water dish down there. It, you can't really see because it's misted down because it likes humidity. Uh, he just moved his head there. Um, had the heat mat in the back and it was just, the top was just not good at all. So I decided I'm just gonna get a new tank entirely. And then we do have the crickets here. Um, they have their little food. They only get food really because they're here long term because I just keep it, there's like three dozen in here. They're all hiding in that tube. You can see all their little antennas, it's kind of disgusting, but and they got their water sponge right there. Um, and then when they eat that food, it's in their body. Frog eats them. Frog gets the nutri nutrients from that food. So basically, they're feeding themselves to feed the frog. Um, and I will feed them in this video. I don't think you're going to see him eating. Um, but I'm going to put crickets in there because it is his feeding day. And I do feed him every other day two crickets, two to three crickets. Two to three crickets or two to four. Um, I'll just do three today. And so... Let's get right into setting up his new tank, which I have right here. It's got a 3D background. He'll love that. It is um, about twice as tall, I think. Um, it's got a nice screen top, which I got a heat lamp for him now, because I just had a heating mat, and it was super tiny, and um, didn't really heat it up well. This should do really good. It's also infrared, so I can leave it on at night, and I'll be able to see him at night, because right now I kind of just have to turn the lights off and like wait and try to find him in the darkness. He can't see this light because it's infrared, so it's pretty much perfect. And then this tank's got the opening from the front, opening from the top, and it's just really cool. So I'm gonna start setting this up right now. I'll show you the axolotls real quick. They're like on top of each other looking at me. Um, so that's pretty cool. I just saw that real quickly. Oh, pushing them away. All right, well, that's all I have with the axolotls. Um, so let's go unbox this terrarium and the lamp now. All right, so I'm just gonna open them up on the ground here. We will start out with opening the heat lamp. It's just a Flucus Deluxe um, clamp lamp, so I'm guessing I can clamp it to the sides. I'm just gonna rest it on the top, because um, as long as he's not on the screen top, which I've never seen him on the top of my tank, he's only on the walls or just right next to it, he shouldn't get burnt by it, but if I have to clamp it, I will clamp it. And so I'm just gonna open up here. And then, yeah, here's the clamp you can use it for. I'll have to read instructions how to do that, but here's just a lamp. It's going to come with the bulb, um, and it holds a 75 watt bulb, so I got a 75 watt bulb in the infrared to heat. Um, they don't need UVB, and it, it's beneficial, and then right next to the window, they just need a bunch of it. So um, I have it next to the window, so it gets natural UVB. But here's the lamp. It's pretty cool. It's a nice red bulb. Put it in, screw it in. It's pretty self-explanatory. But, um... Now let's plug it in and turn it on. Um, and then I'm guessing the clamp lamp part, you can just, I don't know, put it on there or something like that. And so there's the lamp, pretty easy. And I think, is there something else in the box? It is, and there's this uh, lighting guide right there. And then um, for the tank, we have right here, cut this part, take these off, right here. Tall, tall tank. Um, these frogs are out of oil, so they like to climb more than they like um, to just walk around. So, taller is always better with tree frogs than 
wider. And this is just a nice tank. 3D background, like I said, and that part's really cool to me. And I like how it has front open doors and top open doors. And the doors all, don't go all the way down. As you can see, they only go part of the way down. So, like, he can be down there and I open them up. He can't, like, just jump right out, even though they can climb walls. Um, let me get this tape off real quickly. Oops. And then, um, again, the screen top, it all locks in place. These doors, and pretty sure I just put this, and they open up like this, and I can get inside, do anything I want in there. Close it up, and you lock this right here, it's a little logo. Closer, a little logo, and then so you can close the doors, put the logo straight, and now the doors are locked and cannot open up. And then I'll take it up here for the top. This, um, you just have to slide these things open to open up the top part, like that. And you can take off the top and reach in through the top. I thought it was a flip back, not a flip back top, but that's okay. So now let's get to setting this up. Alright, so I got out the old 10 gallon tank, emptied out everything but the dirt, got all the decorations and stuff right there. I'm um, still gonna need to use that light sadly, but I'm just gonna put it at the bottom and face it upwards. Because um, I, I was hoping I didn't have need that light because it came with one, but um, the heat light doesn't really do much, it's just like a red light. But I'm thinking maybe with the sun open, I mean, my window open, I might not need it. Because um, it'll be a completely natural like day and night cycle. As long as I can keep my blinds open. So I'm going to think about that. Um, and this actually is a plodarium. It does say on the box. We do have a frog and he's that way quickly. And then um, it said it was a plodarium, terrarium, whatever you want to make it. I'm just going to make it a terrarium, maybe a plodarium in the future. Have some Ian Tetris down there. I don't know, shrimp, snails. Um, but for now, it's just going to be a terrarium, and I'm just going to fill it all up with, uh, like right here, I'll do like gravel, to put a little drainage layer, then dirt, so it'll be a lot more dirt and stuff, but it'll be cool, so I'm going to get to setting that up. Alright, so I got the tank set up, um, got that right there, I need to get stuff that's a little bit taller so we can go up more, um, but it looks good for now, there's a lot of stuff going on at the bottom. Can't really see it, but he's got a cave down in there. Maybe we'll see from. Nope, okay. But he's got a cave under there, a bark. You can kind of see the bark right there. You can kind of see his cave going in. Uh, big leaves, you can climb up all this stuff, all the walls. The background, there's a lot of structure for him too. Um, so, and then the light. I'm just gonna do the sun lighting. Uh, Cause they, um, I, I think they're better than darkness too, cause they always have the leaves, so. Um, if it feels like it's too dark, I'm going to research it. Um, if you need the light, I'll give him a light. And then also, the heat lamp, I'm returning and going to get a smaller one here in a second. Because it melted right back there. You can't really see it, but you can see it's kind of bubbling up right there-ish. Right there, it's bubbled up. And I kind of got the um, screen right there just because it was too big and kind of sat part on the plastic. So I'm going to get a mini one. Um, still should heat up the whole tank, still should be perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, so let's move our frog in. I mixed it down, fill up this water bowl. Oh, and I'm probably not going to feed him. I'll probably put like one or two crickets in there. There's like one cricket, um, because he's probably not going to eat if I'm too stressed out to eat. And then um, he doesn't eat till nighttime. So I'll just show you what I do to put a cricket in there. And that'll be that, I guess. So let's put him in. I just put him in and he went straight into the little cave I made. Now he's going out there. I'm guessing he's going to climb up the back. Um, oh, he jumped up right back there. Um, so he's just gonna go up to the top, explore the whole thing real quickly. Gotta see him on the side there a little bit. And I, he's got a face full of mud because the mud's wet. Um, but he can bathe off in that. He does it, he bathes every night. I guess the water's super dirty, so that's kind of annoying because you have to change it every day, but it's worth it. Um, so here's the final tank, and then, um, I'll feed him in another video actually because he's too stressed out to eat right now, and there's really no point. I'll just be wasting a cricket. Uh, but I will feed him in an upcoming video. And, and he's trying to climb the back right there. Kind of missed his grip. But, um, that's all for this video. I've got a new, um, Australian white tree frog. So, yeah. So that's all I got for today. But thanks for watching and like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.